Friends and family held a candlelight vigil at Orchards Elementary School on Sunday to honor a young girl struck and killed by an SUV in November. As reporter Cindy Cha found out, Sunday was a fitting day to remember Ariana Deline. Balloons, candles, pictures, and music, all for Ariana Deline's birthday celebration. And right alongside is Ariana's ashes, her mother, Christine, made sure Ariana was present for her party, if only in spirit. It just wasn't her time, and I wish she was here. Mm, she was everything. Everywhere I go, I see her. Everywhere. About 40 close friends and family members came to show their love and support. It's just one of those healing stones, stepping stones that people need to take. I miss her. She was a very good friend. The best one I've ever had. Friends and family gathered tonight to celebrate what would have been Ariana's ninth birthday. Everyone is still coping with her loss, especially since they believe there's been no closure. Ariana was hit and killed by an SUV at the intersection of Borough Avenue and Thane Road. However, the driver was never charged. You don't just run over a kid and nothing happened to you, you know, and I mean, I know if it was me, I'd probably be in the purse by now already. Oh, I know that she has to wake up every day, you know, feeling, you know, bad for what happened. Every time she hears the song or, you know, whenever it's... Happy birthday, And as everyone sing happy birthday, balloons are released one by one as a symbol of love to honor the little girl with the big eyes and infectious smile. In Lewiston, Cindy Cha, KLEW News. And the driver of the SUV was identified as Jocelyn Nichols of Lewiston. Now, Nichols reportedly tried to contact the family to apologize, but family members say they're not ready to talk to her just yet. Well, Habitat for Humanity turned